I picked the wrong car to take to Whole Foods. This was my first trip ever to Whole Foods. And I've got to say, I'm a little disappointed. What is up guys? Welcome back to the videos. We just made a quick little Whole Foods run. We do have to go back to Walmart because Whole Foods didn't have everything I needed. We are doing this in preparation for another refeed and I have a pretty awesome video for you guys today. I'm very excited to show you guys what's going on since we are two weeks out from summer shredding. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my grocery shopping and update you guys once we get home and show you everything that I picked up for this video. It's gonna be a good one. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. Okay guys, we have made it back home from all of our grocery shopping. It has been a seriously, seriously long day. People are crazy right now on the weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that I was able to pick up from the grocery store. Now I went to Whole Foods and I wasn't able to actually grab a lot. What they did have and what's special for tomorrow is I get to make a low fat and high carb pizza for tomorrow. So from Whole Foods, I went ahead and got some fat free marinara sauce and then the rustic crust flatbread as well as I was supposed to get some fat free cheese from there but they didn't have any so I went to Walmart, got some fat-free cheese, and then everything else you see is all from Walmart. So I got some Truvia to put in my coffee in the mornings. They have Brussels sprouts, asparagus, sweet potato for tomorrow, a crap ton of shrimp. We've got chicken breast, two packets of 99 1 turkey, and some egg whites. Now all of that is in preparation for my refeed. Tomorrow is officially 14 days or two weeks out from the summer shredding show, which is June 29th. Which by the way, if you guys wanna come see me compete, I would really like to have some support from you guys. The show is in Houston, Texas. I'll put all the info to summer shredding on the screen. So if you wanna come see me compete and hang out and stuff, I would love to have some of you guys there if you're in the area, that would be really cool. I have a long night of cooking ahead of me. I have to prepare a lot of this for tomorrow as well as the rest of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up all of my food and I will see you guys in the morning for our amazing workout that we're gonna have. It's gonna be great. See you guys in the morning. Is much better. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. It is currently, what time is it? 
It is currently 6.41 in the morning. Even though I don't have fasted cardio on the weekends, which today is Saturday, 14 days out, two weeks, absolutely crazy. But even though I don't have fasted morning cardio on the weekends, my body still gets me up every day at like 5.30 or 6. I have been up for a couple of hours now. I just hung out a little bit, played some Xbox, did some emails. It is almost time for us to eat. Before we eat, let's go ahead and weigh ourselves uh, to get a morning start weight for the refeed. We weighed in at 192 this morning, which is actually really good and I'm happy with that. Usually you wanna stay around losing a pound a week, which I have consistently been doing since 28 days out. As you can see, it started at 194, dropped all the way down to 193, and now this week we are consistently at 192.0. Go ahead and see what the refeed brings for us today. This is not gonna be a full day of eating. If you guys wanna see a full day of eating for my refeeds, you guys can go to my last fitness update, but I am gonna be showing you guys a little bit of what I eat throughout the day especially the pizza that we're gonna make tonight. I'm very, very excited to do that. I haven't had pizza in like six months or something while I've been training for this. So oh, I am just like, so, I am so excited for my last meal. That will be my eighth meal of the day. All right, let's go ahead and do a physique update. For this physique update, I want it to be extremely accurate. So I'm gonna do all of the mandatory posing as well as hit my power pose, which will be in my routine, which I don't really wanna put on camera. I wanna do the routine just on stage. This is 14 days, two weeks out, completely fasted, been up for about an hour and a half now, 6.30 in the morning, 192 pounds. Here we go. Go ahead and do my front mandatory pose. Do my back pose here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit my power pose. Oh, posing really does take you out of breath and get you get you sweating just a little bit, especially if you do it a lot. Those are the three poses that I will stick with right now and at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and start making our pre-workout meal. Pre-workout meal, it's going to be 230 grams of egg whites as well as four packets of the cream of wheat. I am thoroughly going to enjoy this. On the eggs, I'm going to put some of this salsa. This is my favorite salsa that I've found. I get this from Walmart. And I'm also using my favorite pancake syrup. For the rest of prep, I'm probably going to cut this out, so I wanted to be very sparingly today. I want to cut out all of my artificial sweeteners, anything that makes me hold water. I want to cut out completely. While I'm eating this and getting ready for the gym, I'm going to go and catch up on reading some of your comments. That's one of my favorite things to do in the morning is just like catch up on emails and catch up on like the DMs and the comments that you guys send me. I really do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and crush this food. Oh my God. It gets better and better every time. If you guys have never had the cream of wheat, maple brown sugar, 10 out of 10, I would recommend. It's pretty empty in here today. All right, guys, we have made it to the gym. I'm gonna go ahead and drink my pre-workout here. This is the staunch pre-workout that I always take. You can use my code on the screen to get a discount. Something special today, we are rocking the new Legends Active Wear. Go ahead and show you guys here. We have the new Active Hoodie. Super, super soft. It's kind of like a dry fit material. And underneath we have, oh, let's get it up. You guys will see this later on in the workout when I get warmed up, but we do have the Legends cut off underneath here, which is super comfortable as well. So before we lift, we do have to get a little bit warm, do some stretches. Today, I do have chest, tries, and a little bit of back. I'm not gonna go heavy. I'm dropping the load for these last two weeks because I don't wanna be tearing any of my muscle fibers. I wanna be just getting a really good pump, adding blood into the muscles these last couple of weeks to make sure that muscles are getting lubricated. I'm gonna feel good. I really wanna make sure to get the best possible pump for these last few workouts that I have on these couple of weeks. So I am going to be wearing a hoodie at the beginning of most of my workouts to help me get that pump. I also thought for today's video, we would do like a what's in my gym bag kind of thing here because along with the new drop, we do have half duffel or half gym bag, obviously is it for a gym bag. This is a, a Legends and Champion collab. We do have backpacks and duffel bags. I'm using this one 
as my new gym bag and I absolutely love this thing. It's my favorite product that we have ever done and it is just so convenient. Once I'm done with this workout because I really want to get in the zone and I really want to focus on my last few workouts, I'm going to be going through everything that I take to the gym, all of my bands, my stretching equipment, my certain things that I use to help water retention and different things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and start stretching and let's get it. But first things first, cheers. So today we're gonna start out on bench. Like I said, I'm gonna work out in the hoodie just for the first half, get a nice pump going, and then we'll really get into it. Some solid reps between 10, between 10 and 15 with this. We just finished up with chest. We are gonna move on to back now with high rows right here and then underhand rows over there. Let's kill it. Lifting is done, posing is done, now it is time for cardio. Last refeed day, I didn't have cardio, but this time I do have 45 minutes on the stair stepper. <sighs> like usual, gotta get it done. But before I do that, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I carry around in my gym bag every day, especially because we've got the new Legends duffel, which also you could use as an overnight bag, either one, but I really like this as a gym bag. I guess what I've utilized today is I am gonna use this Vaso Dry to help me lose some of the water since I am now two weeks out, as well as a waist trainer. I wear this for every single cardio session. Next up, you're gonna have my headphones, which I'll be using when I get on the stair stepper. Then we have my weightlifting belt here and an extra pair of headphones. My tripod, just so help me filming. Then you guys saw this morning all of my bands for stretching and stuff like that. And then you've got some deodorant just in case you're smelling. These things for leg day. Necessity right there. Now I haven't used these in a while because I haven't gone super heavy, but on the off season, I used to do powerlifting as well. So I have some wrist wraps for when I'm going heavy on bench. That's pretty much it. Also, I always carry around a shaker bottle and BCAAs. And I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a BCAA shake right now to drink while I'm doing my cardio. This is the staunch BCA plus hydration in the watermelon gummy, which is the absolute best flavor. Use my code on the screen if you wanna try some. I'm gonna go ahead and knock this cardio out. Like always, I am gonna wear the hoodie and we have the new Legends Media hoodie as well, as well as the shorts too. Every morning you wake up. Are you? <sighs> 
Here we go. Two thousand years later. <sighs> oh, 45 minutes done. 475 ish calories burned. It's time to eat, boys. Oh my god. I have just created the best dish of all time. So what you guys just saw was I took some of the staunch vanilla protein. I have eight of the chocolate rice cakes in here. And then I went ahead and took a blender with a little bit of water and some ice. Put the protein in here. Blended it all up and made kind of like a frozen yogurt slash rice cake concoction here. Let's go ahead. This is like... A high protein, high carb, low fat frozen yogurt. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god. Mm. If you guys wanna see how I made this, let me know in the comments down below. And the next full day of eating, or when I can actually have carbs again, I will make this, but I need to sit down and enjoy this because this is literally the best thing that I've eaten in six months. But just one more bite, one more bite. Oh my god, okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, it's now a few hours later and I have a couple more meals in me and I actually feel really good. I have lots of energy to actually do stuff today and I actually picked up something that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Let's head home and I'll show you guys exactly what I got. So we have made it back home and this is our pickup. Me and Tiana have been wanting one of these for the longest time. It's just a full body mirror, but right now during my cut, as well as even like after my cut, it'll be really helpful when I'm doing my weigh-ins and my check-ins in the morning to get some nice natural light while I'm looking at my like physique update. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys kind of what I mean right now. So we are midday in, I've had Four, four meals, I believe. Could be wrong. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. I've had four meals so far. Go ahead and give you guys a quick physique update. I feel amazing. My veins are insane right now. I don't know if you can see on camera, but the natural lighting just makes everything look so good. This is why I got the full body mirror. My veins and my abs and stuff are just like crazy, crazy right now. Refeed is going incredible so far, as you guys can see. So, wanted to give you guys a little midday update. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the food since I already did that last week. I will update you guys when we start to cook our very last meal, the eighth meal of the day, which is going to be the high carb, high protein pizza. And it's going to be amazing. I don't know if it'll be as good as like my frozen yogurt, but I'm excited to see. See you guys when it's pizza time. Okay guys, it is officially pizza time. What time is it right now? So this is meal number eight for the day and it is 1024 at night. It is pretty late, but I had to stay up to be able to fit all of these meals in. So last meal of the day, we're gonna be making a high carb, high protein and low fat pizza. I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly how I'm making it. Okay, to start this out, I am going to preheat the oven to 450 degrees, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start actually putting all of the ingredients onto the pizza. Ooh. Honestly, that looks so bomb. While the oven is preheating, we're at 250 right now. I'll go ahead and tell you guys all of the ingredients that in this pizza. To start out, the base of the pizza is this rustic crust right here. Then we have the organic fat-free marinara sauce, fat-free mozzarella cheese. To top everything off, I had some 99-1 ground turkey already cooked up and I just put, put a little bit on top of the pizza. My coach said put as much as I want. I've already hit enough of my protein for today, so just for some added flavor I put it on top it's gonna kind of mimic the texture of like a sausage and cheese pizza it's gonna be so good and I am very very excited <laughs> Oh man, it's getting real. Oven is preheated to 450. Let's go ahead and stick in the pizza. Oh, I am just so excited. Nice. 
Gonna keep it in there for about 15 minutes, check it. I like my pizza super crispy, so, so I'm gonna check it at 15 minutes, and if it's good, we're about to eat good tonight, boys. Check it real fast. Ooh, ooh, we are almost there. Just a little bit more crispy, yes. Oh, it's perfect. That is a good looking pizza. Digging in, first bite here. Let's try it out. Oh my God. You guys, I am so complete right now. Oh, all right. Oh, I am gonna enjoy this so hard. Let's go sit down and relax. Oh, yes. All right, to finish up my night with the refeed, I'm gonna have this pizza. This thing, this entire thing is gonna be around 200 to 225 carbs, including like the cheese and everything like that. I'm also gonna finish it off by watching a movie on Netflix tonight called I Am Mother. Since I am about to go to sleep, I don't wanna go to sleep right after I eat this. I want to let it digest on my body. For about like an hour or two, I'm gonna go ahead and smash this pizza, let it digest and enjoy a movie. And I will see you guys in the morning for our official refeed update. You guys have to at least try it. Just have to try it. I mean, it's phenomenal, but I've also been dieting for 18 weeks, so that could have something to do with it. Good morning guys, it is, it is now the following day after the refeed. I just woke up and it is 7.45. I'm about to go do my 45 minutes of fasted cardio this Sunday morning. So before we did that, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my physique update. I do have a check-in with my coach after my fasted cardio, which I'll probably lose a lot of the water that I'm holding from yesterday's refeed. But for this to be a complete and total honest physique update, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I look like. Just waking up, just like I did yesterday. I've been up for about an hour and a half or so. Same as yesterday, I weighed in at 194, which is two pounds heavier than yesterday's weigh-in exactly, which is actually really good. I still feel super lean, but I also feel extremely full, which is exactly what we wanted. And especially when I go do my cardio, like I said, I am gonna lose a lot of the water too. I think that when I go do my check-in with my coach, I'm going to look amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my poses that we did yesterday morning to show you guys, and then I'll update you after fasted cardio. We're gonna go ahead and hit my front pose, back pose, and power pose. Back pose, and then power pose here. So like I said, feeling really good. I'm gonna head to Fasted Cardio and update you guys once we are done, let you know what my coach says, and we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Fasted cardio was extremely, extremely successful. I feel absolutely incredible after this refeed, after fasted cardio. I cannot remember feeling that good in the gym in a very, very long time, especially doing especially doing a 45 minute fasted cardio session. I don't know, I feel really, really good. My coach was extremely pleased with how my physique is looking in post refeed. As you guys can see, I filled out a lot, lost some of the water from this morning that I was holding and everything is coming together. My coach made a couple of small changes for the coming week. They cut up my oats and added in half a cup of rice pre, which is really mentally going to affect me, but I don't know. I just, let's, uh, hold on a second. Oh, okay. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to get serious for a second because during this cardio session, during this entire process, I was just really thinking about what I've been doing, what I've been going through, what, what I've even been putting Tiana through this entire process. And I don't know, it's really, now it's set in my mind that it is game time. Everything that I've worked so hard for up until now is leading up to this moment in two weeks time. So I have less than two weeks today, which is absolutely crazy. And this is when everything counts. This is when you bunker down and this is when you absolutely kill it you have in your mind 
that you worked so hard for this and you want to do every single little thing to make sure that you know in your head that you worked the hardest you possibly could to make whatever you want to do, whether it be a fitness show, something on your car, literally whatever it is, you want to know that you did your absolute best. And I'm not doing this just for me. I'm doing this for you guys to show you that whatever you're passionate about, whatever you love, when you put 150% into it, you can achieve anything. You will achieve exactly what you worked for. What you put in is what you'll get out. And for me, I love this entire process. Yes, I'm a huge car guy, my channel is cars, but fitness is also 90% of my life. I go every day and I wanted to share this process because it's something that I love and it's a goal of mine and it's something that I've worked so unbelievably hard for. And I wanna inspire you guys not only to you know live a healthy lifestyle, but just chase after your damn dreams, man. I get so many DMs of people that wanna know how to start, wanna know how I got to where I am. It's because I work hard and you guys can do it too. If anything has shown you these 18 weeks that I've been dieting, these 12 12 weeks that I've been cutting. I've filmed everything, how hard I've been working every single week. You guys can do it too. You just have to set your mind right, know what you want to do and execute it. Nothing comes easy. Absolutely nothing. You guys can see that through this entire process. I work my ass off every day for this. Whether or not I come off that stage with a trophy, in my head, I know I worked as hard as I possibly could to be on that stage and deserve whatever place that I get, whether it be first place, whether it be last place. I know in my head, I did everything I possibly could to be the best I could possibly be on that stage. So I just wanna tell you guys that if I can do it, you can do it too, whether it's a fitness show, whether it's painting a picture for an art show. I don't know what you're into, I don't know what you like, but just know that you can do it, I promise. Put in your head that that's the only thing that matters at this moment and kill it. All right, enough of the motivational stuff. I just wanted to end on that. I just felt felt that in my body that I had to get that out. I'm gonna go and end this video here and eat. I am freaking starving. Tiana's about to come home from Vegas and we just get to hang out for a little bit. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in next week's fitness video or the car videos too, but next week is one week out. It's gonna be a great video. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.